That's right. Cinch up those aprons, come over your hair, put on your comfy pants, because we're celebrating the release of the Bob's Burgers movie. Oh, boy. Oh, Dad, I don't want to stop your flow, but can you pass the peel off? Oh, God. That's butter. You know what? Butter's better. We're going to be taking a recipe straight from the Bob's Burgers cookbook. And I'll link it down in the bio, because I think this is one cookbook everybody should have. Henry, I present to you, baby, you can chive my car burger. Sour cream, chives, and little fried pickle wheels on the sides that make it look like a car. Vroom, vroom. You know he's a grown man, right? To start off this burger, we're gonna do the pickle wheels for the baby you can chive my car burger. We do a pinch of salt, a half cup of flour, and two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. We're just gonna go ahead mix this up a little bit. Next we're gonna crack two eggs into a small bowl and whisk those together. One of the most important steps for your fried pickles is to make sure and pat them dry. That way the batter will actually stick to your pickles and it'll fry up real nice. Now you're gonna take your pickles, drop them in your egg mixture, and then drop them in your flour. Be sure to coat them thoroughly so that they get a nice, good floury crust on them. And then we're gonna drop them in the air fryer at 350 for about five to seven minutes. Now, not only are we gonna do our dill pickle chips, but we're also gonna do some slices because we might as well double down if we're doing some fried pickles. While our pickles are frying up, we're gonna get started on the most important part, the burger. Eat the tuna melt, Henry. Could I just give the burger um, a sniff? Henry, it's okay to smell it. Oh, there you go. Now, instead of busting out the flat top, and setting off every alarm in the building, we decided to go with our handy dandy cast iron. We've got our fresh ground burger meat here, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of feta cheese to this. Just grind it up, break it up in your hands. Make sure you've got your feta cheese all the way throughout this burger. It's gonna add some nice pops of flavor and a little bit of good crispiness whenever it fries up on the flat top. Now we've got our skillet on medium high heat, and I've added just a thin layer of grapeseed oil. You just need a high heat oil. I prefer grapeseed. Now once you see a little bit of smoke coming off your skillet, that's how you know it's ready. We're gonna go ahead and add these burger patties in. Be sure to not crowd your pan. You going to make sure to give them a little bit of space to breathe in there. Now we're gonna let these cook for about two to two and a half minutes on each side, just until they're nice and crispy on either side. Now our burgers have been frying up. We've got a good dark brown crust on them. We're gonna give them all a flip. And let these bad boys keep cooking. As you can see, our burgers are finishing up, so we're gonna make the sauce. Add in a little bit of sour cream to your bowl. Now you're gonna do two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Then we're just gonna thinly chop some chives to toss in there. This is gonna add a little bit of bite and also a slight bit of crunch to your sauce. Now, generously whisk that all together, and you've got a perfect burger sauce to top off the baby you can chive my car burger. Now that our burgers are nice and cooked, we're just gonna toast up our potato roll here. We're gonna do a little bit of mayo on this. We've wiped off just a little bit of the fat from the burgers. We're gonna toss these down. Just let these get right nice and crispy. Last, but certainly not least, we're gonna build our baby you can chive my car. We're gonna add on our burger patty, a good helping of our sauce to the top of it, our top bun, and lastly, don't forget your burger wheels. Vroom vroom. Oh, it's so good. I'm having another bite. Oh. <laughs> I win, I win. <laughs> how do you like my joke burgers now, Pop? And that's how you make the baby you can chive my car burger. And don't forget to hit us up with a like, subscribe, and click that bell, and we'll see you for the Bob's Burgers movie premiere. Hush. As you can see, as you can see behind me, we're gonna be cooking the recipe from Bob's up. Mitchell, are you almost done with your video? It's time for bed. Oh my god, Lane. Take your jokey burger specials and go! Fine! You just gave me a new burger idea! The I'm Sprouter Here Burger comes with sprouts! Ah, not that, but something else.